everybody, welcome to this session. We're going to explore some fascinating technologies, artificial intelligence technologies to power your intranet with different services, specifically looking into Azure Cognitive Services, Computer Vision, Custom Visions, and we do this in the context of SharePoint, OneDrive, Microsoft Teams, whatever your internet is built on. It doesn't have to be necessarily a Microsoft technology, to be honest, because focus is on adding AI to your internet. My name is Stefano Tempesta. I'm CTO at Connecting Software and also Regional Director and Microsoft MVP based in Melbourne, Australia. So let's enjoy this session together. I'm sure it's a common struggle. You have searched way too many combination of words to find that image of that video that you need and it's still not popping up, isn't it? What if you could automatically add the metadata? tags to any image or video that you upload, say, to OneDrive for business and move it to the right folder with no manual effort. So in this session, I put together a quick guide to show you how to build a flow. We'll be using Azure Logic apps for that to integrate OneDrive for business with the image and video also recognition API in cognitive services, computer vision. Logic Apps makes it easy to integrate multiple API and cognitive services quickly analyze images and return tags to be used as metadata. I'm sure I don't have to do a big introduction about cognitive services. Azure provides these services as an API, a REST API, with pre-built models for you to get started immediately without being a data scientist, without a background in artificial intelligence or machine learning. Computer vision, specifically, is the capability that we are going to use. Computer vision is part of the Azure Cognitive Services and has many flavors, many capabilities. We'll focus on image recognition, so identifying objects inside an image so that that objects can be used for tagging, adding metadata, and categorizing that image automatically using logic apps into a folder structure. Computer vision works on the basis of identifying rectangles or areas where objects exist inside a big picture. But we'll focus on the computer vision that can identify objects and use this recognition, so this object as a tag, to categorize our images in OneDrive. Here we are in computer vision. You can easily find it by searching for Azure Cognitive Services and then browse to the computer vision service itself. Computer vision allows to build a powerful content extraction application by using a REST API with a pre-built model. What it means? It means that Microsoft has spent uh, hours, weeks and months to pre-build the machine learning model with thousands and thousands of images of any possible type and then expose these as a very simple REST API to consume. What you see in, uh, on screen now, which is quick demo, is uh, a very blur image of some people on a train platform. And uh, the REST API has already recognized that there is a rectangle here with the coordinates of the rectangle. And uh, this rectangle contains a person, contains a train, and you see there is uh, there are some tags uh, that identify a train with a specific level of confidence, a platform with a level of confidence, subway, and so on. What is the confidence? The confidence is uh, a score between 0 and 1, indicating the likelihood that the recognition has been accurate enough, with 0 being I didn't recognize this at all, and one obviously being uh, the most accurate recognition. So you can see here that there is quite a good recognition of a train, platform, even a person, despite being very, very blurred. I'll go into my pictures 
and uh, let's select a car for example okay so i have different cars which one do we take today well let's go for the porsche okay here we go so i upload this image and uh, you can see there has been a recognition immediately that there is uh, we are outdoor there is a car with a very high level of confidence we are on the road it is definitely a vehicle and a few other things now let's pick another one and i'll pick some flowers here here we go and here we have is a plant flowers there are some roses is a bouquet and probably some other flowers that i don't even know the names but that's okay i'll trust computer vision is doing its job really nicely now how about we challenge it so let's have a look into this one what do you think this picture is is it a flower or is it a car and now if we have a look into here we'll see that there is a level of confidence that very high the flowers have been identified but there is a, a lower level of confidence that a car has been identified so look at here car confidence the, the level of confidence has dropped significantly it used to be 0.99 and now is in 76 percent so what's happening here well the model has been able to recognize some elements within this picture but not good enough to distinguish whether it is a flower a car or a combination of it and the reason is very simple there are not many models there are not many um, items pictures that have been used for training these special conditions how do we get started well we have to start from azure and create a computer vision resource from the marketplace so then we can then use it connect to this resource from logic apps so here i am in my azure portal specifically in the marketplace i'm about to create a new resource where i can find it all these cognitive services are under the ai and machine learning capability or category and you will see computer vision is just here so click on computer vision and start uh, filling the fields here for creating this resource Give it a name and then choose a pricing tier there is a free f0 tier that allows for 20 calls per minute and 5000 in a month i think that's plenty if you just want to practice with the logic apps integration and build a, a digital asset manager only for yourself obviously if you want to scale these uh, to, to a larger uh, volume of traffic the s1 subscription tier allows for 10 calls per second so i'm in my uh, computer vision resource that i provisioned in azure previously you have uh, plenty of documentation on how to use the web api in c sharp in python in java but what we need is to look at a key and endpoint that you will be using for connecting to this service from logic apps before we look into logic apps let's brainstorm a little bit how this integration flow will look like so the idea is when i upload a file into OneDrive, it will be in a common folder where we dump all our pictures i extract the content of the picture analyze the image with the api that we have just seen so with computer vision and then this api will produce a list of tags or categories so i will set a condition if the score is say higher than a 80 percent so 0.8 i'll move the file into a folder named after that category otherwise i'll create a log and move into the next one here i am in my logic app designer i have created a flow that basically starts from onedrive for business i have selected a folder where i'm going to upload all the images and the frequency of checking whether there is a file in this folder 
and then I call the image and then I call the computer vision API for analyzing this image. It's very simple. You just have to uh, do a search for computer vision and you will see that you have the computer vision API and from here you select the analyze image. Okay, so I've already done this. So, and it is configured to select the file content as a dynamic content. So we're looking into analyzing the content of the image that has been uploaded in the previous step. From here, I just initialize a variable. The file has been created. This is my exit variable in the loop that I'm going to create now, because for each category, so for each category, you can see here, for each category in this flow, I set a condition. The condition is if the, here is not really visible, but if the category uh, confidence is greater than 0 0.8, you can choose your own value, then branch into true and false. If it's true, I'm gonna move the file and I'll move the file by picking the file by its ID into a destination path given by the category name slash the file name. If not, I'm going to create a log file with a point log attribute in the category name equals confidence score as content of that file. At the end, I set the variable, so in case everything is successful, the file created to true because this is my exit condition. So I'm going to activate this flow now and show you how it works by switching to OneDrive. So let's run it. So this is my OneDrive for business folder. I'm in the image folder here. So I'm going to upload now a file and drop in here. So I'm going to do this from a collection of images, the ones that we have seen before. So I'm going to go into my car that we have seen before. Let's take another one. Now this uh, nice and beautiful yellow beetle and upload in here. File uploaded. Now we just have to wait about 10 seconds for this uh, uh, file to be picked by the flow and categorized. And as you can see, after a few seconds, the file has disappeared from my images folder. This is my dump folder where I upload all the files. Where has it gone? Well, I create uh, uh, the I created through the flow a folder structure starting from the root. So I have to go one level up, and you see there is a, a folder here called Trans Car, it's a transportation car, and he, inside here we find our car. Beautiful. Let's do the same also for the flowers. So I'm going to close these, go back into my images and upload a picture of a flower. Okay, let's take this other one here. And again, flower bouquet uploaded, 10 seconds until the process kicks off and then we can see that this file will disappear from this folder and move into ideally another folder. I wouldn't expect to go into the same trans underscore car folder that has been created before, right? So the file is gone. Let's go and find out. One level up. And here it is in, in plant underscore flower. There is a new folder in here which contains our flowers. Beautiful. How about uh, the tricky one that uh, we used before? Was it a car or was it a flower? Let's find out. Just upload this Joe Maloney in London. So the file has been uploaded now, but it's not disappearing. It's not going anywhere. What's going on? Well, if I go back, one level up again. This time I see no new folders or the file not being moved into either one, plant flowers or transcar. What I see is a log file generated after the file name. So I'm going to open the log file 
and as instructed in the logic app flow you will see we have written inside this uh, file the category and the level of confidence category is not even perfect it's been recognized as a plant but no other uh, no other indication N not a car no flowers nothing else but more importantly the level of confidence is much much lower so we cannot use it for automatic categorization so how do we address the gap how do we make computer vision learn that well that car with flowers is actually one of those pictures that we do want to recognize so how can you personalize computer vision to make it specific to your needs and this is where you actually need the custom vision where you can customize image recognition to fit your business needs by providing your own data set and training this data set using machine learning for your custom purposes now the beauty of custom vision is that you don't have to be a data scientist again to do any of the training and categorization custom vision will do that for you you just have to provide images let's have a look how to do that you start from the customvision.ai website in this website you can upload images train them by just clicking a button and then do an evaluation custom vision will expose a rest api a web service completely managed in azure without writing a single line of code and obviously you can consume this rest api and use it in your own application so here we are in computer vision we need to sign in with your azure account and once you are in you will see the list of projects that already exist so ignore this one that is another of projects of mine let's create a new project for image recognition so you can just say call it here digital asset manager give a description and use a azure resource that you want to create so you have to pre-allocate a resource in azure as we have seen before for computer vision the same will be also for custom vision and then you can have two type of project a classification project and an object detection a classification project is what we are going to do now so basically identifying the class the generic category of an image object detection is a bit more specific it goes into identifying the areas the rectangles where a, an object is identified detected inside an image that's too detailed for what we need we'll stick to classification you can also choose whether you want to assign a single tag or multiple tags for each image in our case we'll stick to a single tag just to keep it simple for now obviously if you have images that are that fall in multiple categories then you want to assign multiple tags per image once you create your project then you have to add all the images you need at least five images to train the model so let's start with our first five images and we start with our cars not coincidentally i have five images here for different cars so i'm going to upload them and give it a tag how do we call them well this is a car five images uploaded job done and you see they've been all tagged as car on the left hand side you see the tag car all five of them let's do the same for the flowers so add more images and upload our car our flowers and now we have a combination of car and flowers okay so then just have to click the train button here on top you see this green button this will uh, do a training of the uh, data set that we have uploaded because the data set is not significant i mean we have uh, just a few images the bare minimum to do the training it's going to be very very quick if you have a larger data set and uh, this obviously uh, the, the, the accuracy uh, will be higher the more images you have then 
uh, it may take some time to get the training done, a few minutes uh, or, or, or even an hour, depending on uh, if we have uh, hundreds of thousands of images. And once the training is done, you get some statistics on precision, recall, uh, average performance. Now, in this case, we are super good. We're getting 100% accuracy overall, simply because the images are very, very clear. So you, we have uh, five cars, we have uh, five bouquets of flowers that are clearly distinguished from each other. So the accuracy is uh, pretty awesome. Uh, now, in real life, you can get uh, images that are not that clear, not that sharp. So you, uh, once you upload them, you get a precision and a recall that uh, may be a bit lower. But aim for at least 90% that is uh, a reflection of the quality of your model uh, to use uh, this model, Custom Vision, in a, a real, in a production application. Let's do a quick test now. Now, for testing purposes, we cannot use the same images that we have been using for uh, training because otherwise it's quite obvious the image is there it's part of the model so it will be recognized automatically so it doesn't make sense for me to use one of these five flowers bouquets because otherwise it's obvious that the model will recognize it if i pick this or this on that these pictures have been used for training i need to use another one a sixth one that is not part of the training model so i'm going to go one level up and you see i have some some flowers here that has not been used for training so i'm going to pick this and as you can see this has been recognized being a flower and not a car what happens if i upload a bunch of apples or bananas or something else it would not be recognized because the only two categories that I have instructed Custom Vision to recognize are flower and car, nothing else. So I'm going to do the same also for a car. I'm going to choose this uh, Toyota Prius, which has not been used for training. And I would expect this to be recognized as a car. So despite computer vision not knowing how a car looks like, but only based on the five images that I've used before for training is good enough to recognize Toyota Prius as a car. And now let's go and do the challenge of the Joe Maloney. And here we go. We have again flower and car in ambiguous probability. It's more flower than a car, but still not a clear decision. All right, so we want to address this and now we can. Because to address this, you just have to go back to the training images. So we have our flowers, we have our cars, we need a hybrid combination of them. So we're going to add some images and upload our car flowers, a combination of different flavors. I'm not going to use the Joe Maloney ones because that one is my test. I'm going, I'm going to instruct the custom vision with some combination of cars here. Okay, I'm gonna call it flower car, it's just a tag, you can give you the name you want, but something that is obviously distinguished from the other two, and upload them. And here we go, so now we have five cars, five flowers, and five flower car, all of them. I need to retrain the model, so click retrain. Okay, and once more, we have the a second iteration, very high precision again, because we have very clear, sharp images, and the, five, the three categories here, flower, car, flower, and car individually. All right, time for a quick test. And again, I'm not going to use any of the five images that I'll be using for training the model. That will not make any sense. What I'm going to use, use another one, our Joe Maloney one that has been troubled so far. And here we go. Job done. So Joe Maloney now falls very precisely into this uh, third category, flower car, whatever that means, and is no longer identified as a flower, is no longer being identified as a car with lower probability. 100% this fits into the flower car category. 
Time to you now to get in action, get started with cognitive services and specifically with computer vision and custom vision. Computer vision, you have a full set of REST API completely documented and available on Azure. If you are a .NET developer, there is also a new get package, a manage package, which is just a wrapper around the API that can make uh, your coding easier from uh, uh, from a .NET perspective in C Sharp. Uh, if you're building a custom app, otherwise, if you're sticking to logic apps and this integration flow as seen in, in, in this video, in this demo, then uh, you don't need to do any coding at all. Just connect the logic apps to custom vision. The same, sorry, to computer vision. And the same also for custom vision. So there is also an action for custom vision. Custom vision exposes a REST API. So you have to just go through the same process that we have seen for computer vision with the difference that you are loading your own images, you're training your own model, and then Custom Vision, the API as possible by Custom Vision, will use that model for its prediction. That's all for this session. Thanks for watching. Hope you find some interest and some ideas to make it better and more productive for your specific needs. I am available for any uh, follow-up questions. Please reach out on Twitter or on LinkedIn. My social coordinates are on screen. Thank you so much again. Have a great one. Before closing this session, a special thanks uh, to the SQL Server Geeks for organizing this uh, Data Platform Summit. And a special thanks also to Microsoft for supporting these uh, community initiatives. Don't forget uh, that you have a chance uh, to win uh, amazing prizes. Uh, just post your selfie with uh, an hashtag DPS2020 and you have a chance to win. Good luck and thank you again.